Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. The goal of the experiment was to analyze the performance of aluminum bats versus wooden bats for applications in baseball. We would try to create an experimental methodology by which we could assess the maximum energy transit from the bat to the ball. And that's when I thought of liquid nitrogen. It's not going to stay like that. Three, two, Whoa! Bats. All beauty! This you know, beauty. Right here. The metal bats are hitting it much, much further. <laughs> yeah. You just look to the calculations. Yeah. Experimentally, what you've shown is that aluminum is much better than wood. Wow. Much, much better. Ready? One, two. That was gone. Watch out! Watch oh. out! Oh! Oh! Beauty! Beauty! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that ball flies off this bat. It flies. Oh, yeah. Big difference. My, my, my. If you freeze a ball and if the ball exploded, that's good news for you. But in this case, the ball did not explode, but it did give us some measure of energy transfer via the number of uh, so called defects and dislocations in the form of physical rings appearing on the ball. We have succeeded experimentally in demonstrating that indeed aluminum bats do better than wooden bats in terms of energy transfer. Um, I suppose the apples were for fun because both the wooden bat and the aluminum bat did have a pretty huge impact on the frozen apples. We did not bother to count the number of pieces because there were too many. What we did see was that the piece that came off of an aluminum bat traversed more distance than that of a wooden bat. So that, that was interesting in itself.